Look at this luxurious capstone edition 2023 Toyota Sequoia behind me. Let's get into it. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This one is about the Capstone Edition 2023 Toyota Sequoia. Third generation Sequoia, 15 years in the making. So real quick, before I get a bunch of questions about these trucks, they are pre-production, so no MPG, no pricing, nothing like that right now. But I can tell you that the motor is the exact same one as the Tundra, the iForce Max, standard in all Sequoias coming out. So even the SR5, is gonna get that iForce Max motor. Pricing as well, not available, but if you're a detective, look at the Tundra, look at the price last year, look at the price of the Tundras right now, and uh, just, I don't know, be a detective, figure it out kind of, but no official pricing yet. All right, so in this video, guys, I will show you the whole exterior of it and parts of the interior. Again, very, very, very pre-production trucks, so not a lot of stuff is working on the inside, but let's start outside with this capstone. It has standard, the same, 22 inch wheels that the Tundra has, diamond polished wheels. And I think with this color on the Sequoia, it blends it really well. The chrome, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like chrome, but it does look good on the capstone. I mean, when you have the most prestigious model of the Sequoia, you're gonna want to flashy flash a little bit, show it off, you know? The grill, really like the front end on the Sequoia. Mixed a little bit with Forerunner, mixed a little bit with RAV4 too, with this bottom fascia mixed with Tundra over here on the left-hand side. The grill actually blends in right here. The front end is awesome on the Sequoia. It looks very good. Just like Tundra 2, all the vents are functional for that twin turbo 3.5 liter. Fog lights down here at the bottom valence. All your 360 camera gear, camera there, camera on the mirrors, parking sensors, pretty standard now. Take a look at the side profile. What I really like is how this portion of the rear quarter panel comes up and goes into the light in the back. It just flows really good. It looks a lot better than the photo show. Not that the photos of this truck I didn't like at all. I actually really did. But seeing it in person now, holy smokes, guys. So speaking of the rear end, couple things. We have a live axle underneath because this is on the same F platform that the Tundra, that the Land Cruiser, that the new LX600 is on. So we have a rear locker on the TRD off-road models and TRD Pro, and it's a multi-link rear suspension. So what that means is it is part-time four-wheel drive. So it's not full-time four-wheel drive, which to me is perfectly fine. I know a lot of people are kind of upset about that, but the reason they do that is for towing performance and MPGs. If you're rocking in four-wheel drive all the time, you're gonna get horrible MPGs. So. They did that. If you want to be in four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high. If you got some snow going 80 miles an hour, truck will do it. Another thing too with the rear back here, you will notice, unfortunately, that the rear window does not roll down anymore. Windshield wiper right here. So they have a like little lift right here. Lift open the glass. So you are still able to open the glass separately, but unfortunately the back window does not roll down anymore. Hopefully for six gen four runner that uh, remains, we will see but they did take it away on the Sequoia. They left it on the third gen Tundra because they knew that was a staple for that truck. For some reason with this one, it is gone. All right, coming on to the inside, chrome door handles, keyless entry, all that stuff, obviously. But the capstone, again, just like the Tundra. A lot of characteristics of the Tundra inside of this. Biggest thing, think of the Tundra. They put a mini little cab on the back, threw a third seat back there. <laughs> it's, it's literally a Tundra, but SUV form. Coming on into the capstone, guys, you are greeted with very luxurious interior. So same 14-inch screen here, same 12.3-inch screen here. It's a Tundra, <laughs> but an SUV. So you guys can tell that this is very nice inside. If you guys have sat in the new Tundra, You'll have an idea of what the Sequoia is like on the inside. It's gonna have all the same trailer stuff as the Tundra, all the same four-wheel drive features as the Tundra. TRD off-road models and the Pro have the multi-terrain select. Crawl control, they have the rear locker. This one does have the ride adjustable height. Your camera views, so the, you know, the full 360 camera view. You can see since this is the capstone, all the ambient lighting right here. You can see that little strip on the door right there all these nice blue hues of lighting for the capstone. Your steering wheel, 
Same exact one as the Tundra with all your features right here. So you'll notice, guys, when you drive the Sequoia, well, I haven't driven the Sequoia yet, but the Tundra, that because the screen is a, just a touch screen right here, a ton of your steering wheel controls are actually what uh, controls that. So you got to get very familiar with your steering wheel controls, and then you won't really worry that, you know, the whole thing's a touch screen. Let's go ahead and get into the back seats. So getting into the back seats too, you have the choice on select Sequoia models of bench seats or captain's chairs. So I really like these captain's chairs because they recline back and you have a lot of room back here. And then to access the back seat, watch out, very easy access to it. And you kind of have like some steps right here. So they give you like these little steps to access this third row. Now the batteries are not right here. It may look like it, but there is a battery right here, but it's for the car, they said. But they're actually down here. So that whole F platform, just like the Tundra, how they'd be sitting under the Tundra, they're actually right down here. So they're under the carpet. Since this is those captain's chairs, you get that little cup holder right there. And then the rear seats are cool because, check it, they can actually slide and recline. So you actually get a decent amount of room back here. Now they don't fold completely flat because you do have that live rear axle down there and not an independent rear suspension. So like the competition that folds flat, this Sequoia does not. So they did something pretty trick. So let me take you to the back of it to show you what they've done to kind of help that out a little bit. So I will lower that left side when I get back there, but this is pretty cool that you can lower it both here and on the back over there and it is automatic. So the party trick that they did with this is this shelf back here. So it's on its highest setting, but you can pull it down so it's nice and flat. And then you put this right seat down. You guys can see the cup holders and all the shelf room that the rear occupants get. but. The shelf, very cool, right? Because you can lift this up. Slide it in like that. And then this portion, depending on where it's at, you have this full flat shelf, which is very cool. So yes, they don't go all the way into the ground or the bottom of the truck. You have a little shelf down here down here like yes it doesn't go all the way flat but it is nice and high too to where you can put stuff back here and you do have a flat surface just in case you know you go to the home depot or anything like that and you want to put stuff back here so guys that's it with the new 2023 toyota sequoia more to come for this vehicle so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel returning subscribers as always i appreciate your guys support because without you stuff like this is not possible so thank you so much all right guys i'll see you in the next one